Hello. If you ask anyone who's been to yoga what their favorite pose is, it appears more often than not the Savasana truly holds that place. I found this to be the case with everyone I engaged in my classes, truly. When executed, it evokes absolute euphoria, but it's interesting. All you're doing is lying there. This is something we all do every night, we all have access to, yet it's just not the same. Why is that? In the beginning of class, meditating in Savasana, when we awake from it and start moving through the positions, they get more challenging as we go along. Now, the purpose of these poses isn't just to help increase flexibility and straighten the spine, but more importantly, evoke discomfort. Yoga seeks to make you feel uncomfortable, and in doing so, evoke calm, stillness of mind, focus throughout the rest of your waking experience. By the end of a challenging session, that is when the finishing of asana, just lying there, truly feels euphoric. Now, what does this mean? This means we heighten the content of our human experience not by indulging in pleasures, but by stretching it the other way. It means, we humans have come to this plane to fight, suffer, seek challenges and grow. Then, at end, just be present, awake, after that controlled chaos. It is interesting. What happens when a human being just indulges in pleasures? They feel good in that moment, but the moment they cease, how does our present experience feel? Just not good enough. We feel void. It's almost as if the reverse happens. This applies to everything. When is your meal most satisfying? When you've worked every fiber of your being and you're starving, essentially, you've put your body in a position where it yearns for that meal. In that state, even the most basic meal becomes delicious. When does our pillow feel the best? After a long day of work, maybe after a journey, a trip to a harsher environment, when do we make the best love? After a while, without any release, when the whole date itself has a good vibe, it's flirtatious foreplay even from the beginning, building that tension, that desire, and when the moment comes, even then, teasing each other, building that anticipation. When it finally happens, that's when it truly becomes memorable. If you take someone like Dan Bilzerian, who at one point doing drugs in Viagra because he's having trouble getting hard and he's just not stimulated enough, he has women all over the place, women are just an abundant commodity for him at this point. His body doesn't seem to even want to anymore. It's telling him that the process itself just isn't enough. He's literally doing drugs to make it more stimulating, engaged in one of the most connective, gratifying experiences a man or woman can have. He seems like he's still in void. That's why. He needs to add more to the experience. So much more that he nearly died from two heart attacks in that same night. The philosophy of the Savasana literally applies to everything. It means not just saying thank you, but building the condition where you can feel thank you. Have your thank you in the present moment course through you. Now, this does not mean we should avoid pleasures. I obviously do not. It means we must earn our content. We must earn our pleasures even when we don't have to. Otherwise, they will become meaningless. We earn our feeling of meaning. To that end, pushing ourselves through struggle, through suffering, embarking upon challenges voluntarily, we must do this. Otherwise, we will find ourselves numb, overstimulated, desensitized, lost, seeking the meaning we are reaching out for, now realizing we are walking away from it the entire time. Dive into the icy sea of our world and swim, because that is when you will truly enjoy the warmth. If you truly want to feel strong, beat your body until it feels weak. If you truly want to experience yin, subject your body and mind to the fire of yang. With this knowledge, do not envy those who have all the world's pleasures. Instead, envy those who know how to engage suffering. The ones who voluntarily seek discomfort because the ones who do are the ones truly tasting life's pleasures. This is what we may learn from the Savasana, from this life to feel whole. We humans aren't just built, we must seek challenges and even at the cost of failure, persevere to overcome these challenges to that end. I wish you persevere and overcome all of yours. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. It's Kukarma. And until next time, peace.